Did you know that the performances of the many American Hollywood celebrities of Kingdom Hearts are enjoyed not only in English-speaking countries, but in Japan as well? While the major Kingdom Hearts games release in Japan first with their own cast of actors, followed by a North American release, the final mixed versions of the games, which feature extra content and new cutscenes, are released in English with Japanese subtitles, and were previously only available in Japan until the recent Kingdom Hearts HD ports for PlayStation 3 in English-speaking countries, where the cast was brought back in to record these new scenes, as well as the CG movies based on Kingdom Hearts Recoded and 358 Days Over 2. Because the grand majority of the cast are Disney characters whose voices originate in English, it's felt by the Japanese audience to keep them preserved in their native language, along with the original characters like Sora and the Final Fantasy characters that appear as well. But because no new English dialogue was recorded for these versions, some tricky things needed to be done in order to keep the story immersive during the new cutscenes seen in the Final Mix games. The new cutscenes with Riku were stylistically done so that his voice could not be heard, even though his mouth moves, and the lip sync animation is set to the Japanese dialogue. This was also the case for all of the new cutscenes in Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix, so there would be a few random scenes thrown in where all of a sudden the characters' voices simply wouldn't be heard. A particular cutscene that went along with a new boss fight against one of the cloaked Organization 13 members, known then as The Unknown, did feature spoken dialogue by Sora and company, but they were simply recycled clips of Haley Joel Osment, Bill Farmer, and Tony Anselmo from other cutscenes. This cloaked character, whose voice at the time was also not heard, later turned out to be Zenness, the leader of Organization 13 and final boss character of Kingdom Hearts 2. The Organization members made their first full appearance in the story during the Game Boy Advance game Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. It featured six of the 13 members, and like the other characters heard in the game, the Organization members had voice samples during their boss battles with Sora. However, most of them were merely voiced by in-house staff from Square Enix working on the game such as animator Tatsuya Kondo voicing Marluxia, Lexius, and Vexen, and publicist Ryoko Katayama as Larxene. <laughs> One notable exception, however, was Keiji Fujiwara, known for many anime characters such as Hughes from Fullmetal Alchemist, voicing the popular organization member Axel, who would later show up in Kingdom Hearts 2, where he was voiced in English by Quentin Flynn. Flynn and Fujiwara not only shared the part of Axel, but also the Final Fantasy equivalent character, Reno, in the new compilation of Final Fantasy VII series of animation and games. Got it memorized! Burn, baby! This is also the case for Axel and Reno's French and German actors, Jean Christophe Parquier and Philip Brammer. Kingdom Hearts 2 featured the remaining organization members left over since the end of Chain of Memories one year later. While the original characters were played by many celebrities, and the Disney characters by American cartoon actors, a few of the Organization 13 characters were actually voiced by actors that were known by fans for dubbing anime, fitting well with their design. Examples include the previously mentioned Quentin Flynn as Axel, Kirk Thornton as Syax, Paul St. Peter as Zemnis, and even eventually Dirk Stephen Prince as Vexen and Vince Carraza as Zexion. Most likely this was due in part to the Kingdom Hearts series' most prominent voice director, Bob Buchholz, having a major background in dubbing anime as an actor, writer, and director. Little side note too, Demix was played by Ryan O'Donoghue, who had previously voiced young Kovu in Disney's Lion King 2, Simba's Pride. The original Japanese release of Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix also came with a special bonus disc featuring a PS2 3D remake of Chain of Memories. This remake featured a host of newly animated cutscenes, including a cast of voice actors taking on the roles of the other five organization members that were previously voiced by the Square Enix staff members. These Japanese actors also voiced the characters in Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix, where they appeared as extra boss battles. But in order to keep the illusion that the game was entirely in English, the Japanese actors only performed battle grunts and no speech was heard. <laughs> In time, though, these characters did eventually gain true English voices when Square Enix decided to release Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories as a separate disc one year later in 2008. Funny little side note here, this game's final boss, Marluxia, was voiced by Keith Ferguson, who you might also recognize as the voice of Blue from Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. So you are a hero. Your hopes are doomed to the darkness. Away! <laughs> no good! Prepare. It's hot in Topeka! It's hot! It's hot! It's hot! It's hot and it's hot and it's hot in Topeka! Ironic, as Sean Marquette, voice of Mac from Foster's Home, appeared previously as Roxas' friend Pence in Kingdom Hearts 2. Also worth pointing out is that Reach Hint of Memories, as well as the game 358 Days Over 2, were recorded entirely through ADR, as in the Japanese recordings were animated first, and the English recordings were dubbed over the pre-existing visuals, evident by the out-of-sync mouth movements. 
This is much different compared to, say, the main series of games like Kingdom Hearts 1, 2, and Birth by Sleep, or where the animation is done to fit the English language performances, and the actors are even allowed to interpret the scenes in different ways. Going back to the earlier mentioning of Quentin Flynn being cast as Axel, and then eventually Reno for the new Final Fantasy VII games and animations, there were actually several characters cast in these games that would later go on to voice the respective characters in other Final Fantasy projects, like Steve Burton as Cloud Strife, Rachel Lee Cook as Tifa Lockhart, and Chris Edgerly as Sid Highwind. Aerith in the first Kingdom Hearts was played by Mandy Moore, who of course would later go on to voice Rapunzel in Disney's Tangled almost a decade later, but was then eventually replaced by Mina Suvari in Kingdom Hearts 2. Suvari would later reprise Aerith in Final Fantasy VII Seven Advent Children, before being replaced by Andrea Bowen for the Crisis Core and Dissidia Final Fantasy games. Christy Carlson Romano, known from playing the title character of Disney Channel's Kim Possible series, voiced Yuffie in Kingdom Hearts 1 and eventually Advent Children, but was replaced by Mae Whitman for Kingdom Hearts 2 and Dirge of Cerberus Final Fantasy 7. In addition, Sean Fleming, voice of Kim Possible's twin brothers Jim and Tim Possible, also appeared in Kingdom Hearts to voice a young version of Final Fantasy X's hero, Titus, and Will Friedel, voice of Ron Stoppable, voiced Cypher in Kingdom Hearts 2. Yuffie's Japanese actress, Yumi Kakazu, actually reprised the character in these newer games from an arcade fighter called Air Guys God Bless the Ring. The other Final Fantasy VII characters in this game did not carry over their Japanese actors to the newer games, however. A young Zack Fair appeared later in Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep, carrying over his actor Rick Gomez, who played him in Advent Children. And one last bizarre note about the Final Fantasy VII characters that appeared in this game. The big bad silver-haired Sephiroth was featured as an optional boss in both Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2. In Kingdom Hearts 2, he was played by George Newbern, who would go on to reprise Sephiroth in all of the compilation of Final Fantasy VII animations and games. An incredibly ironic casting choice for such an evil villain, as George is also well known for playing good ol' Superman. I feel like I live in a world made of cardboard, always taking constant care not to break something, to break some water. Never allowing myself to lose control. Even for a moment, someone could die. Perish now. Give in to the dark. Show me your strength. Are you scared? Know your place. Descend. Heartless angel. But in Kingdom Hearts 1, while there were no cutscenes featuring Sephiroth like in the sequel, the Malevolent Swordsman's optional boss fight featured some voice samples for his battle with Sora, where he was voiced by a very heavily filtered Lance Bass from NSYNC. Time to end your misery. Descend, Heartless Angel. Come, power. Prepare yourself. Show me what you've got. The planet and I, to be one, I shall lead you to the promised land. What? Are you afraid? Thanks for watching. This video was inspired by Did You Know Gaming, so go check out their channel and watch all their videos about gaming trivia. Special thanks to Omadon for the audio mastering, Brian Knoll for the music, and BehindTheVoiceActors.com for all the audio samples. If you like this episode, go check out some of our other ones linked here on the side, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you want more. See you next time!